I thought, you know, obviously we had a much better um, second half than we did first half, and I'm glad that we can get ourselves going and, and get the win. Um, a lot of things that we need to clean up, the we did a really good job, and we know we need to be better moving forward. Jerry? Yeah, Sherman, um, you, you alluded to the first half. They were doubling you up in rebounds, and the shots just weren't falling. Was there something you told the team in the, at halftime, or was it just a case of things were just going to start falling into place in the second half? Um, you know, we just talked about how we need to pick apart intensity on the defense in it, right? When shots aren't falling, um, you've got to create some offense off of our defense. And I think, you know, I think Martha had five steals. Uh, we only had four. Katie was doing a great job pressuring on the ball. And those are the things that can get you going offensively when you're having an off shooting night. And you know, we can't, we're a great shooting team. We have to have a plan B when the shots aren't falling. Yeah, Coach, you guys moved to talk about you start working with three ball. How important a man like that three ball can become in the future? And then second, is it encouraging that, you know, despite not um, three point winning really coming in, you guys are still able to win by 15? Yeah, um, you know, I, I thought that they would start going in a little bit sooner. <laughs> Yeah, you know, after the first quarter, okay, we're gonna make them in the second, and then we didn't. Um, I have really a lot of confidence in everyone on the floor and in their shooting abilities. It was just, I don't know, it was just a lid on the basket. I thought we were taking good three point shots, um, but again, when when those shots aren't going in, um, we have to be able to do something different. I thought we had chances where we could drive on them and, and get to the bucket that we didn't capitalize on in that first half. Um, we were kind of settling for the threes, um, but we were able to regroup at halftime and come out and I think Henry knocks down a three in the first possession. So, um, you know, this this team, we, we're putting a lot of new pieces together and it's gonna take some time for us to, to be firing on all cylinders. And I think this is um, a quality win for us in the way that we had to earn it. Martin, there's not a lot of bigs who can score inside and out and take the ball. Um, basket to basket like you do. Are you happy with this opportunity that you have to play your game and get the minutes you're getting? Uh, for sure, for sure. Um, uh, coach, the coaches have a lot of confidence in me. They, they allow me to, you know, like um, translate my game in the court, whether I'm playing five or I'm playing four, or whatever the team needs. And, and that's what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to, you know, like fill those uh, blank spots that, that the team needs at certain points. Um, we have great shooters, so, um, me rolling and, and getting to the basket is going to get the defense in and open uh, for those shots. Michaela, you're an offensive spark plug for the team, as you often are. Um, what do you try and bring to the court out there? Um, I feel like I'm not like usually the scorer. Like, I try my best to just do whatever we need. So like if that's rebounding or like just stopping my player, like whatever the team needs. I feel like we have like so many weapons, like every night is gonna be someone's night. Like last night was Gills, tonight's night was Kim. Like I feel like it just we have so many people that it's gonna switch, you know. You did your thing on defense, um, you were on kind of steel. Um, what was your mentality there? Um, she did make some, but they were tough shots. So have you guarded her before or you've done them? Yeah, okay. that was kind of my matchup. So I just went into it. I really went into the game to try to focus like that's just my main objective because like that's their main offense. So if we can stop her from getting 20, then we can win this game. So I just kind of think about it like that. But um, I feel like even like Mia was guarding her and she was killing it in LA too. Like, we just have, I feel like we have like, tons of people that can do tons of things. Like it's not all one person. Um, 17 turnovers, two or 10. How big was that? pressure that we've been applying, you know, I just feel like we need to be more consistent with it. I mean, KK said, like, we've got KK, we've got Mia, we've got Lumani, we've got Blue, we've got Mark, but we've got people that can get in the stands and guard and just have to get it all working together, you know, so um, that we can put together more stops. So uh, I didn't like that they had, you know, 20 points in the second quarter. I think that's too many for them. Um, and so, again, we're just piecing it together and, and grinding right now to, to better every day. Uh, we, we will be a better defensive team. Uh, it's, it's what we're focused on, and we know it's the key to really get into conference play. Well, trouble, sometimes you have to go small. Is that something you wanted to do, or? I mean, we start small. Yeah, yeah. You know, well, you start the floor, yeah. 
to be God. <laughs> we, we start small, you know, um, and we're comfortable with that lineup, but I wanted to go big because I thought they couldn't you know, necessarily handle Michelle. And um, it just, you know, it wasn't her night, the officiating. Um, she, she struggled a little bit. I couldn't get her into a flow. Um, you know, I, I think she had a big bucket for us and got a foul there. I wanted more of that. But, um, you know, there'll be other nights, like KK said, every night we have someone that can step up and help us get the win. Do you have the sense with Michelle that sometimes just her overpowering strength, she pays the price on foul calls because players go down hard even when they don't have their feet set and they get the call. I mean, I, you, you probably don't want to talk about the refs too much, and I'm not asking about that, but how do you, how do you encourage her to continue to play strong out there but, uh, you know, not get whistled too many times? Yeah. Um, <laughs> she's just got to keep trying. I, I think, you know, sometimes, I told her sometimes it's just some bad luck. But you make your own luck, and you know, she's locking to people over sometimes. <laughs> um, but we need her out there, and she's trying. She really is, and it was just a bad day for her. And she'll be back on Monday and probably have a double double, you know. So that's what we need from her. I need her coming in and being a presence in the paint and defending without fouling. And we'll get her there. What is it, November 8th? Um, we'll get her there. Tonight we fouled more than we normally do, or I'm sorry, more fouls were called, whether they <laughs> were or not. Um, I, I think we're okay there. We, we'll keep working on moving our feet and, and being disciplined. Um, but again, I, th I think I'm more concerned about stopping teams from getting offensive rebounds and really able to run shot, and um, we'll work on that. I there's, um, you've had no luck. I'm not a no luck. I'm going to face it to the uh, went and then connected with um, Hale later. Can you guys kind of talk about that connection and how you feel your chemistry is in the second game of the season? Uh, I think we're getting better and better. We're lots of uh, newcomers. We're still getting to know each other. And it's a lot of very talented people with a good uh, basketball IQ. So it's just a matter of getting more games and, and getting a feeling for each other, what we like to do. Like, we're, you know, we're like, we're are learning that KB can score to a bunch, and she's learning too, apparently. Um, so it's just cool um, to get to know everybody. You know, I got here kind of late uh, in the summer. So like Coach said, it, you know, you just gotta be patient and keep working and our game will come. Can I just have one more? Sure. Shifting to Cal Poly, what are some things you want to take away from this game and from the reason for Yeah, it's all defense. I mean, we, we have to be better defensively than we have to be. I'm not worried about us missing shots. Like, you know, we're not going to shoot five for 23 from three, you know. Um, but we, we have to be able to get stops when we're struggling and, and not not shots. So defense, defense, defense. Thank you.